Managing your tables with WaitlistMe is simple for your staff and smart for your business. Just tap on the round icon above your waitlist to see all your tables. Tables marked in green are available right now. Those marked in red are occupied. Depending on the size you've selected, you may also see additional details, like how many people you can seat at each table, who's using that table now and how long they've been there, and who's reserved it for later and when. You can sort your tables however you like, by name, by size, and so on. For instance, if you sort your tables by section then time, you'll see separate rows for each section, with available tables on the left followed by the tables that have been occupied longest. That means each server only has to look at one area to keep track of all of their tables. And it also means that when you're greeting guests at the door, you can easily compare sections, see who has the most open tables, and know where to seat the next customer. Or if there are no open tables, you can see which tables have been occupied longest and should be available soon. In labeled mode, you'll also see additional details about each section. For instance, when a group comes in that's too big for one table, you can instantly see which sections have enough empty tables with enough empty seats to accommodate them. And you can also see how many of the seats in each section are filled and ensure that each server gets their fair share of the work, not just their fair share of the tables. You can even tap Add Notes and fill in any comments about each section. For instance, to identify who's working where, or to leave a reminder about a special event. Just tap Save and your remarks will appear above the appropriate sections. When a party finishes their meal, simply tap on their table to open the action bar, and then tap Status and choose Open to make that table available. The table turns green and moves to the left. You can also tap on a table and add a new party on the right. You can choose someone who's already on your waiting list and serve them at that table right now. If the table is already occupied, this removes the old party and seats the new one with one tap. Or if you're not ready to seat them yet, you can just assign them to use that table next. If the new customer has stepped away, you can even make the assignment and also send them an SMS text message asking them to come back. When they're ready to take their seats, just tap on the table and then tap Next. Of course, you can also add a new customer. Just fill in their name, phone number, and other details. The table has already been selected, so you can go ahead and add them to your wait list, or make a reservation, or just seat the customer right now all in the same place. Or if you like, you can simply select a table, tap status, and make the table occupied without even asking for the customer's name. Either way, the occupied table turns red and moves to the right, and the statistics for the section are updated in real time. Finally, notice the layouts menu. One tap is all it takes to load a whole new section layout. For instance, maybe you need extra staff and smaller sections to keep up with the evening rush, but you only need two sections for a quiet morning shift. The table groupings instantly change, and the statistics are updated in real time, while the customers at your tables stay right where they are. You're free to develop different layouts and different strategies for different days, different shifts, or even different weather conditions. It's all up to you. To start developing your own strategies, just tap Home, and then tap on the gear icon on the left to access the settings page. Now tap Manage Assignments and work your way down one tap at a time. On the Assignments screen, you'll see a list of your tables and the size of each one. You can tap on the number and change a table's size, or add a new table at the top. Make sure this list is complete all of these tables will appear in all of the layouts you design. On the Sections screen, list the names of all of the sections you want to use. You don't have to use them all in every layout, but you do need to give them all names. And now tap Layouts. 
you'll see a list of any layouts you've already created, and you can add any new layouts at the top. Then choose a layout and tap Edit for a list of all of your tables. For each table, you can tap the Sections column, decide which section that table should belong to, and tap Done. Or you can check off a whole set of tables and assign them all to the same section at once. It couldn't be easier. Our table management tools make it easy to know where to seat your next customer so you can deliver the best service possible. And they also give you the flexibility to develop the right strategies for your business so you can think ahead, plan ahead, and make smarter decisions faster. Thanks for watching. To learn more, please visit our website at www.waitlist.me.